Well, they are passionate about the sport here in Wisconsin. And Penn State has the tough task. Bucky Badger and the Badger fans are going to prove to be a formidable foe. But Penn State has traveled well, and the Nittany Lions will have some fans here as well. We're moments away now from starting our second regional semifinal as Pitt booked a spot in the regional final tomorrow night at 8 Eastern on ESPNU. The Panthers are in the regional final for the third straight year and will face either Wisconsin or Penn State. Hey everybody, welcome back up top to our bird's eye view. Sam Gore along with Shelby Coppage. Take us through these two teams a little bit, Shelby. Penn State has their hands full with Wisconsin's block. The Badgers are one of the best blocking teams in the nation. 18 matches this season with 10 or more blocks. But head coach for Wisconsin, Kelly Sheffield, said it's not just the blocking. Today's going to be a slugfest on the right side. Tell us about some of those right side players. There's some good ones. For Penn State, right side hitter Cash Williams. She is so incredible. Her head coach, Katie schumacher Collie said that she's aggressive and that she has the green light to swing away as hard as she wants against that Wisconsin block. For Wisconsin, right side Devin Robinson is a force to be reckoned with. She finds the outside blocker's hands. She's good at turning her hands back into the court. She has different shots. She's aggressive, and she communicates with her back row. She listens to that coverage, and she can find that split easily. Going to be a battle at the net today. Wisconsin, the defending national champions. Devin Robinson is a player that Coach Sheffield called a positionless player, meaning she can play everywhere on the floor, and he knows he is she is going to come through for him. She's a next-level player, a high on the national team observation list as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this red-hot Wisconsin team handles Penn State. There's Cash Williams from Los Angeles originally. She transferred in from Long Beach State, but. Penn State, Shelby, is facing a team that has won 20 straight matches in the toughest conference in the nation. I mean, not only has Wisconsin come in on a hot streak, they've won the Big Ten for the fourth straight year and have not lost in a long time. I mean, this is about as red hot a team as Penn State's going to face this year. So I guess the question is, how do you handle that? Katie schumacher Cauley had to handle being the replacement, the new head coach for a legend in Russ Rose, who retired last year. She got the job on January 9th. She still talks to Coach Rose before every match. She's still very involved in watching this program. But this is her team, and it's been uh, really fun to see how she's navigated this opening season. Kelly Sheffield, on the other hand, just following up to what he did last year. It's incredible, Kelly Sheffield, what he's done with this program here at Wisconsin. He was just named the Big Ten Coach of the Year. He's also the Regional Coach of the Year. But being Big Ten Coach of the Year is special because the coaches also vote on that award. So his fellow peers naming him that. No better atmosphere than the Wisconsin Fieldhouse. Soak it in. It is uh, one of the iconic spots. When you walk in, you smell popcorn, you smell that old woodsy scent. It's just a classic gym. And uh, it may be 25 degrees outside, but it's probably 85 in here right now. <laughs> Turning up the heat, ready for this intense match. So uh, quite a lengthy introduction for, Penn St or for Wisconsin, but these fans uh, hang on every swing of the Badgers. Uh, this team gets so much coverage in the media here in this area, and their summer camps are just overflowing with youngsters wanting to just touch this Badger program. And so for Penn State, Shelby, it's got to be a little strange here watching all of this pomp and circumstance for the opponent. A little strange for Penn State, but they could not be led by a better leader than head coach Katie schumacher Colley, who is a former Penn State national championship yourself. If you want a coach and you're in the Wisconsin territory, I would want Katie schumacher Colley to be my leader too. Wisconsin, the national champion last year, they're in their 10th straight regional but Penn State, one of the most storied programs in history with seven NCAA titles, 
second only to Stanford's nine. And uh, Penn State is the only team that has never missed an NCAA tournament. They've made every single one of them. And I mentioned the 20 match win streak for Wisconsin. Well, Penn State has won nine of their last 10 coming in. In fact, they had a little bit of a scare in their last match at home against UCF as the Knights took the first set against the Nittany Lions and they had to rally. Wisconsin has not dropped a set so far and they have actually been dominant in their two wins coming off a win over TCU where they hit 395 and held TCU to hitting just 051. Now, Sam, I have to take a second just to take this all in. The fact that we are here in Wisconsin, in Madison, and just yesterday getting to talk the game with Kelly Sheffield, with Katie schumacher Collie, with the greats. I remember watching the match that schumacher Collie played in when she won. And the fact I'm talking to her and Kelly Sheffield, just what do you want from your team? It's amazing. And what a better environment. It could not be any better than it is right now. So a reminder, Pitt won the first regional semi today, beating Florida in four. The winner of this will face Pitt tomorrow night on this very floor. It'll be Wisconsin on the left side of your screen in white, and Penn State will be on the right side of your screen in the dark blue. And we are set to begin. Jillian Grimes, the freshman from Westchester, Illinois, getting ready to serve a forensic science major coming off her 19th birthday yesterday. And we're underway in Madison in this best of five set match. First swing by Wisconsin was delivered by Orzol, and then it is Wisconsin winning the first point of the match. Hart, Orzol, Robinson, quite a front line for the Badgers. And Orzol heading into the block, but covering her own ball. Incredibly athletic. Julia Orzol from Poland. Sends that serve out. And Orzol's a fun player to watch because of her body language. She missed that ball, that serve. But she was the first one to that huddle to shake it off. She's a really mentally strong player. Second team all Big Ten this year. Allie Holland back to serve for the Nittany Lions. Holland a, a junior. First team all Big Ten. A nice dump by the setter, Elisaya. Elisaya did a good job of faking that. Looked like she was going to set and put it over. And Elisaya's head coach said that she's come a long way. Really that mental game. She has different shots. She sees the court differently than she did a few months ago. Holland with a good serve to Guchigan. Right side attack is successful by Robinson. Huge kill by Robinson, and that's her signature, avoiding those hands and staying super strong, being so aggressive, going for that cross-court shot. Back to serve, Gulje Kuchikin from Turkey, first Badger ever from that country to play here. What an impact she's made in her freshman season. And that hit, uh, Wisconsin was in the net, so the point, excuse me, it was uh, Penn State and the net point goes to Wisconsin. And Aguchikin will go back and serve one more time. Aguchikin, when she came to the United States, had never been here before, was considered the best Libro in Europe for this year's class, sends that serve out. And we're tied at three. Aguchikin and uh, Orzol, you see them uh, slapping hands. They've really bonded being the, the two players from outside the United States. Salesa Elisaya ready to serve. Uses that lefty serve to great effect. Serve it right at Franklin. Now Franklin on the attack. Kept alive. That was an excellent dig by Grimes. Swing from the right side. Robinson tried to go line. And is successful. It was a late call. Both officials looked at each other to confirm it. And then the point was awarded to Wisconsin. And beautiful swing by Robinson, less to your screen. Look at her drop her arm and go down that line. Almost a roll shot, staying super aggressive, but trying to make that libero test. I, I think that was out. <laughs> but Wisconsin gets the point. So we play on. Wisconsin up a point, first set in the second regional semi. 
Uh, the block party is out. That was Caroline Crawford getting most of that. The transfer from Kansas. Coverage is going to be a big key to the game for the Nittany Lions. Your hitter needs to know that you have her back and she can go for an all-out swing. And uh, going back to that ball I said was out, there's actually a net violation. That's why the point was given to Wisconsin. Overpass, Crawford hammered it, kept alive. Bump back up by Hamill. Here's Franklin. Franklin again. And this time, tools the block for the kill. Big hit by Franklin. She loves that cut shot, especially off the blocker's hands. She's super confident and aggressive, especially with the hands in front of her. MJ Hamill, one of the two setters for Wisconsin, back to serve. 36 aces this season, a biomedical engineering major. Elisaya with the back set off the slide. Clark is denied by the Badgers. Textbook block for Sarah Franklin. The way she did a crunch in the air, her head down in her chest and her arms facing the court. The Badgers on a 4-0 run and Penn State takes a timeout. They're happy in the field house. It's early opening set. Wisconsin and Stanford right now tied for longest win streaks. Currently, they are trailing San Diego as a 26 match win streak on the line later against Kentucky out in Palo Alto. But uh, Bucky, the Badger, and these Badger fans very happy right now. It's been a good start for Wisconsin. Wisconsin, three kills on eight swings and holding Penn State to a negative hitting percentage here through the first 10 points. Hamill continues to serve for the Badgers. Elisaya puts up the set. Williams tools the block. Kill for Cash Williams. That hit from Cash Williams is what Kelly Sheffield has warned his team about. When she hits high on those fingertips, it is so hard to chase down that ball for the Badgers because she hits that hard. And Williams has had her best matches this season against elite teams. Angelina Stark into serve. Good serve. An easy point for Penn State. It all started with the Stark serve. Stark's another one of those players that can play every position on the floor. She's 6'2", former player of the year in the state of Colorado in high school. Hamill putting up the set. That was a thrown down quickly by Smreck. Smreck number 14 in white and Franklin. They are a tall duo up there. Smreck is 6'9". And Franklin coming in at 6-4. Penn State's going to have to adjust when up against Smrek because that tip looks like it would be good, but Smrek has reach and hang time. You've got to make the ball that much more high when you're against her. Franklin in to serve now. Alessia puts up the back set, and it is crushed by Zoe Weatherington. Weatherington is this player. When she makes an error, she wants the ball back. She's going to not go with that tip again. She's going for the kill right in that cross-court shot. 6'2", senior from Charlotte, North Carolina, started at Utah. And remember, Utah and Penn State will play in the Rose Bowl this year. Bilinovich serving now. And Smrek getting the kill out of the middle. When you're up against Smrek, you're not always expecting to block her. You're just expecting to take certain shots away from her. The defense has to get in place behind the block for the Nittany Lions. Caroline Crawford back to serve now. Can't wait to tell you the story about that cast on her right hand. Good serve. And that's the hand she serves with, has stitches in that hand. Smrek defensively denying the Penn State attack. Penn State's learning quickly to be aware of where Smrek is on the court. She was middle, now she's on the right. She can play it all, and her block is lethal. Still no hitting errors for Wisconsin, and there's the first service error of the match. Caroline Crawford sends it into the net and will rotate out. Crawford has uh, made such an impact here this year, coming over from Kansas for a final year. And now back to serve, number 12, Cassie Kirshen from Knoxville, Tennessee. That's out. Kirshen going for the line. 
Oftentimes those missed serves come from nerves, but at this point in the tournament, players have gotten those nerves out. Right now it's go time. How can you be aggressive while still maintaining the efficiency? Izzy Ashburn is considered an elite server and uh, one of two players that's never missed a match as a Badger from the state of Iowa. Excuse me, from Minnesota. Off the slide, that's out. Was it touch? No. Point Wisconsin. A good slide attempt by Holland. She had the right idea. The footwork looked good. But Wisconsin is just so good at taking away shots on the block. Got to find ways around it. Aspirin, the career record holder for aces per set. Good serve. Alisaya with the set. That's out. Was it touch? Yes. So the ball went out, but it was touched, so the kill goes to Allie Holland, and Penn State gets the point. Much-needed side out for the Nittany Lions. Penn State, again, showing that when a hitter makes an error, they want the ball back. They're going to make those adjustments, and they're not going to get the ball just over, and then they're getting that kill on the second chance. Jillian Grimes back in to serve. It's interesting, both teams have or Penn State actually has five kills. Wisconsin has four, but it's Wisconsin up by four right now. Elisaya pushes it out to Williams, and Williams does what she does best, terminates. And Williams' swing is just so unique from her approach within how fast she winds up. It's just all in fast motion when she's on her approach. She came in from Long Beach State. Nice set. Good dig. That was dug up by Bilinovich. Out to the pin, attack, another good dig by Bilinovich. Orzal couldn't get it to go down. Williams sends it to the corner for the kill. Nice kill for Penn State, but those digs by Bilinovich are the game changer. She's not only getting hands on the ball, but she's putting the ball to target, or at least 10 feet off the net, keeping it in play, allowing their setter to run the offense. Penn State looking better now, closing to within two, and there's an ace by Grimes, and a big celebration afterward. When I asked Katie Schumacher colleague to describe Grimes, she said she brings the energy, and you can see that after the ace doing an actual fist pump in the air. I'm here for it. Yeah, that was a great celebration after that ace. Penn State's within one. Ashburn with a set. That attack is absolutely perfect. Franklin coming out of the back row. Franklin with a perfect swing. Penn State doing nothing wrong. It's just that hard of an attack from Franklin. That broke a 4-0 Penn State run. And back to serve now, Yulia Orzol. Ooh. Little miscommunication there. Nobody knew where the ball was for a second. And Williams overhits it, point Wisconsin. We talk about how momentum's contagious. Sometimes errors are as well. Penn State looking very out of system. Williams not able to fix that adjustment, make the ball go over and in. Orzol with a 4-0 GPA with a nice serve as well. Good block. Blocked by Franklin on the right side. Williams hits back into the block. And Hart and Robinson say not in here. Hart, who is sixth in the nation in blocks per set. You can see why. Look at her turn those hands back and making sure she is lined up perfectly with Robinson. Wisconsin out blocking Penn State right now, six to nothing. Elisaya puts that up to Holland. She's blocked again. Hart with the solo. An actual block party going on here in Wisconsin. And now the Badgers need to keep an eye out. Will the Nittany Lions start rolling or tipping? This is where the defense has to be quick on their feet. Orzol with a nice run behind the service line. Elisaya going to Williams, as you might expect. And Williams delivers. Guchigan tried her best, but there's just too much heat on that swing. Cash Williams not only bringing the heat, but bringing the attitude, getting her team pumped up, staying super aggressive, but efficient at the same time. So that breaks a 4-0 Wisconsin run. And Wisconsin has the four-point lead here at home. Guchkin with the serve receive. Franklin hit hands, and Franklin gets the kill. Franklin's so good at that cut shot. She was a little out of tempo in that 
approach, dropped her thumb, made that ball literally cut in front of the 10-foot line. Sarah Franklin, two-time all-region selection, came over from Michigan State. Elisaya back to Williams, pushed it over, denied. Williams goes line, goes out, point Wisconsin. Wisconsin fully testing Williams right now. In that block, we saw Williams hitting it into the block. That could be on purpose to let her reset from the coverage. Another Penn State timeout as Wisconsin still is without a hitting error and 11 committed by Penn State so far. So the Badgers trying to keep that 20 match win streak alive. Up 18 to 12 here in the opening set. They have not dropped a set in the tournament. The Pitt Panthers were also in that same category until they dropped a set against Florida earlier today. Pitt is in the regional final awaiting the winner of this tomorrow night. Guchikin to serve. LSI is setting Williams, and Williams sends that out. Now the hitting errors continue to multiply for Penn State. That is the 12th on the Nittany Lions so far. They just haven't been able to find a way to put the ball down. Guchkin, lefty serve at that. Crawford was there with a the block for Wisconsin. Ashburn with the set over to Evans, or Robinson. Franklin into the block. Williams, Guchikin one-armed it, kept it alive. And it's going to be Penn State's point. Franklin just could not get that block to fall down in the court. And the kill will be credited to Katie Clark, number 11 for Penn State. What a rally from the Badgers and Nittany Lions. Penn State starting to get more comfortable being in front of these Wisconsin fans. Elisaya back to serve. What an impact she's had this year for Penn State. Another lefty. And that lefty serve is just coming at you differently than you're used to seeing it. That serve is what Katie schumacher Colley said is the key to the game. She said, we have to take Wisconsin out of system, starting with this serve, because when they're in system, we've seen it's very hard to defend the Badgers. Off the net, Ashburn runs over to get it. Was it touched? Yes, point Wisconsin, the kill credited to Sarah Franklin. Franklin is just so unique with how high she reaches. And she can attack the ball even when she's set really off the net. She's super confident and she knows how to be aggressive while staying efficient. Franklin had a very successful uh, February last year when she went out to Colorado to train in the national team gym. Ended up making the uh, top court of all the college players invited. Aaron Virtue was telling me about that yesterday. Elisaya putting up another set to Williams. We've said that a lot here in the first set. Franklin blocked out of bounds. Point, Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin using the hands of Penn State for her advantage. If she sees the Nittany Lions not pointing back into the court, she's going to target those hands and get that tool. Wisconsin getting close to winning the opening set. Hamill back to serve. It can get so quiet in here. That's tight. And somehow Penn State wins a point off of that. Good effort by the Nittany Lions. You never know what can happen when you just get a ball, a hand on the ball. A lot of good plays in this tournament just like that. Penn State still trailing by six. Stark serving. Her sister's going to be a Nittany Lion starting next year, an elite setter as a junior. Smrek getting another kill out of the middle. And Smrek was super far off the net. That was not a tight set whatsoever. But she can do that. She has that 6'9 wingspan. She can reach Lily over the blockers even when she's not tight. Smrek, the MVP of the national championship last year. And coming in, the popular Jocelyn Boyer.
Elisaya puts up the back set to Weatherington. Weatherington thumps it for the kill. Boom. Uh, big boom by Weatherington going for that line shot. And Kelly Sheffield said he's been ready for Weatherington. He said we've been working specifically on blocking her on the right side. Bilinovic's another one of those players that I, I just love to watch, Shelby. Uh, she's, again, like McKissick for Florida in the last match. She's just relentless in the way she pursues the ball and fires her teammates up. That's pushed over by Crawford. Weatherington. Another kill for Weatherington. And Penn State trying to fight back here before this set gets lost. Weatherington's hot, and that's because she's playing smart. She can go for those aggressive shots, but if those hands are against her in the right way, she's going to change it up and go for that smart hit. Villanova has the student section right behind her. No problem. Out of the middle, Franklin. Guchikin puts up the set. Ice up. Weatherington again. And successful on another kill. That was a perfect spot. Franklin just couldn't do anything with that defensively. And three straight kills for Weatherington. This shot that Weatherington hit is so incredibly hard. Look how off balance she is. The ball's coming over her shoulder. But all she did was keep the ball over and play to fish it, and it worked out. Super smart play. Another good serve. That was tight. Elisaya settles it under it back to Weatherington. And Weatherington now with four straight kills for the Nittany Lions. She's put this team on her back. Keep going to Weatherington until Wisconsin stops her. Keep going. She's hot. She's doing it all right. She's avoiding the block while making the ball drop at the same time. Again, this set goes to 25, win by two. Guchkin with a good serve receive. And that just drops over. And that is the benefit of being 6'9". Good job, Anna Smrek. Smrek 6'9", but she's also very athletic. To be able to be in the air, out of system, but still react and make that ball go over, that's not just height and reach, that's reaction. It, even coming down, her hand was at the net, top of the net level. That was a fantastic play to stay with it. And it's a good sign for Wisconsin when Smrek is off to a good start. And she's already got three kills on four swings and a couple of blocks. Dumps in to serve for Wisconsin. Weatherington with a little off speed. That's bumped over by Orzol. And the point to Penn State. Kill for Holland. The lead is three. Holland, who Katie Schumacher Colley said is the vocal leader, and she has hang time. Wisconsin thought that was a block, but Holland stays in the air for so long, she's able to move that ball at the last second. Weatherington, let's see how she does behind the service line. She's been brilliant on the right side. Hamill with the set, that's out. Smrek sent it. Oh, wait, a touch called. Penn State can't believe it. We may have a challenge here. No one on the Penn State side is happy about this. So a touch was called. The point was given to Wisconsin, but Penn State immediately reacted. Uh, clearly, I mean, the ball went out, but the officials uh, seemed to think there was a touch. Let's see. Smrek on the attack. And uh, I hit it right by Holland, number 20 in blue, as well as number 19, Markley. Oh, wait. It looked, on this, this view right here is different. This view looks like Holland's right hand moved a little bit. Do you see that? I didn't see that till that second look. And just a reminder that the refs have different views than we have right here. So they might be able to see something different than what we can see on our screens. Right here, watch Holland's right hand. It's a little harder to see right there. But her hand literally falls back. Like the ball pushes her hand back. Let's see right here, left of your screen. Oh, that view is a little different. So again, a, a touch was called. Penn State is challenging that. It has to be uh, clear to the official mm -hmm. that there was no touch to have it overturned. And it is at a very significant time in this set. The call stands at set point, Wisconsin. 
One more look. Smrek on the attack. She hits it right through the hands of Holland. And the up judge saw a touch. It's her left hand. See how her, her fingers with her left hand moved a little bit? All right, Sam, what do you think? You think it's a touch or no? I, I'm not getting in this. I right, well, I think she touched it. Doesn't matter what I think, but this is my guess. I think Holland touched it, but at first look, I didn't think so. I spent the entire season trying to guess what they're challenging and then trying to guess who's right, and I'm always wrong. You so. got some right. All right, Penn State wins the oh. challenge. So no touch. Penn State will keep two challenges now, and more importantly, Wisconsin will not be at set point as it's 23-21 now. And Penn State has won six of the last seven points, still in the hunt. As we go to 25, win by two. Weatherington set the serve out. And now it is set point for Wisconsin and a wholesale subs coming in. And those challenges can be used in a way as timeouts. And you talk about icing the server. That's not just that timeout. That's any length of period like a challenge. Izzy Ashburn brought in to serve off the bench. Set point, Wisconsin. <laughs> Alessia has to chase it. Dug up by Kuchikin. Orzol. Markley dug again by Kuchikin. Orzol ends the set for the Badgers. So Wisconsin survives quite a challenge late in that set from Penn State. And it is Kelly Sheffield's Badgers who hang on and win it 25-21 as the Badgers end up hitting 345 in that first set. Only one hitting error, and they ride it to victory. They're up a set. Well, Wisconsin taking the opening set here in Madison, the capital of Wisconsin. In fact, the governor's here this match tonight. Bucky Badger's always here, but Shelby, you know, it's interesting. A lot of times when you look at stats after a sheet, you have to kind of digest them for a second to figure out what happened. Not in this match. It is just absolutely clear the two things that Wisconsin did that gave them that set. Wisconsin had one hitting air. Penn State had 12. Penn State put 12 points on a platter and literally gave it to the Badgers. Yes, Wisconsin's block is amazing right now. They're hitting great. But for Penn State, you're not even putting yourself in a position to win that first set with those errors. The other thing is blocks. Uh, Wisconsin outblocked Penn State seven to nothing. But Penn State, being the gritty team they are, they almost stole that set from Wisconsin. So if you're a Nittany Lion fan, be proud of the effort from the Nittany Lions. And now that they're settling in, let's see if they can challenge Wisconsin here in the second. This is a team on a 20-match win streak. It'll be Izzy Ashburn serving to start set number two. Good serve from Ashburn. Elisaya with the set over to Holland. Orzol. Williams had a lot of time. Good dig by Guchigan. Orzol down the line, kill. Julia Orzel is so fun to watch because of how springy she is, her approach, her style, and how she just reaches, drops that pinky, makes that ball roll right into the right back corner and doing it with swag. So Wisconsin strikes first here to start the second set. Williams just has to send it over. Free ball here for Wisconsin. Robinson, perfect. Robinson just so lethal on the right side. And Kelly Sheffield said it's going to be a matchup between Cash and Devin. He said it's like George Foreman and Muhammad Ali. It's going <laughs> to be a knockout. Well, right now it's Robinson with three kills on four swings. Williams has four kills on 16 swings. Holland goes cross court with that attack into Ashburn. Here's Robinson again. She was right in front of Williams. She'll attack one more time. 
Block was there twice. Now Williams goes at Robinson. Again. Out of the back row. What a block. The first block of the match for Penn State, and it comes courtesy of Allie Holland. Suffocating block by Allie Holland. ISO block, one-on-one. -on -one. That's something Katie Schumacher-Colley said that we can do. She said, I'm confident when my players have a good read, only need one blocker on our opponents. Holland now rotates back to serve. Coach also told us what a student of the game Holland is. Loves to study film. Orzol created that, but hit it a little long. Gives you an idea of the versatility of Orzol to even attempt that shot. Penn State, it's Holland, when, when she serves, she's serving, looking into that student section, and they're trying to distract her all they can. <laughs> and a kill by Orzol again. Fantastic match for Orzol again from Poland. That's her third kill. Started learning English when she was 10 years old. So she didn't have the English barrier to break that Guchikin did. Now point actually is uh, Penn State's. And now the point goes to Wisconsin as Allen says, my bad with the service error. An aggressive service error from Holland. There's good errors and bad error. A bad error is in the net, but Holland was trying to test the chest of the Badgers, make them back up. Didn't work out, but it was aggressive. It's just such an atmosphere for the opposing team here. And Allie Hart gets them fired up. Danielle Hart just crushes that from the middle. And it's all in Danielle Hart's timing. And look, her body's not even up with her left side. She moves her hands at the last second. That's an adjustment making in real time. Hart missed last season with the torn ACL. She's a fascinating individual. Good dig. Here's Franklin. And Franklin can't clear the net point, Penn State. For Penn State, it's all about getting that ball at the service line and holding on to it. Don't just get one. Try and get two points. Go on a mini run. Elisaya now back to serve. It's her first NCAA tournament. She came in from Cal Bakersfield. Penn State has won six of seven points and now seven of eight. It's always scary when the players run towards the stands, but it's extra scary right now because there's actually a step on the court. So these players don't have a straight run through. They have to be conscious of when they get off the blue floor. So Penn State looking good right now, taking the one point lead here early in the second. Ashburn out to Robinson. Elisaya, and that doesn't clear the net. Attack error by Katie Clark, point Wisconsin, and we're tied at five. Katie Clark coming in for the one, but it was super far off the net. That's not when you can be aggressive and go for a cut shot. Got to get the ball over and in. Here are the fans when Guchkin goes back, so they're not booing, they're chanting her name. Weatherington blocked. Crawford and Robinson were a fortress. Robinson and Weatherington. Kelly Sheffield said that they're going to block each other. They're going to kill on each other. It's all about reacting. And Robinson just placing her hands, timing, perfect block. Wisconsin out blocking Penn State 9-1. to one. Ashburn had to chase that. Crawford, ambitious attempt, sent it out wide. Point Penn State. Crawford cutting that a little too sharp. We'll be calling her Dr. Crawford one day. Caroline Crawford uh, aspiring to become a physician and planning on going to med school after volleyball. Stark serving. That's a fantastic serve received by Wisconsin. That was an excellent serve. Wisconsin block is there. Markley tries to hit through it. Robinson thumps it. Bilinovic keeps it alive. Weatherington bumps it over. Free ball for Wisconsin. Robinson, cross court. Boom. 
Robinson just so strong. What can you even do against a kill like that, especially when there's one blocker up against you? Penn State just shell-shocked at the power she's bringing to them. So Wisconsin up by a point here in the second. They won the first. MJ Hamill, the academic all-Big Ten setter as a biomedical engineering major with a good serve. Markley blocked. Back row, that is tipped over. Nice up. And this time Markley hits it into the net, but there's some good defense in that rally by Stark to keep Penn State alive. But Wisconsin just too tough. And Markley being really aggressive, but Wisconsin not even testing her. It wasn't off the blocker's hands. That was a hit right into the net. When your defense has gone all out for you, make sure that ball stays in play. Wisconsin now grabbing the momentum back from Penn State. That was a tough ball to get for LSI, and she did. What a play by the setter just to keep that rally alive and give her team a chance to win that rally. Nice one-hand set by LSI, and that's what happens when you just stay in play. And Clark doing nothing fancy, not trying to do anything that's a show off a crazy kill, just keeping it in play and putting it where the Wisconsin Badgers defense isn't. Bilinovic serving into that Wisconsin student section on the other side of the court. Franklin rolls it over. Boy, this Penn State team is so scrappy. Weatherington with another hitting error. That's been the, the thorn in their side or the hitting errors. Now they are pursuing with so much ferocity and intensity, but they just have not been efficient yet. And uh, Franklin's going to get subbed out as uh, she'll be taken out. Bram Schreiber now coming in to serve the transfer from Baylor. Chanel Bram Schreiber, a very popular player here in this final season at Wisconsin. Elisaya puts it up. Weatherington hits through the block. Point Penn State. That adjustment. Smart shot. The smart adjustment shot by Weatherington is exactly what Penn State needed. We saw Weatherington try and get those big shots and making errors on her own. When she relaxes and just makes it more simple and puts the ball over and in, good things happen. Kirsten, uh, also a future doctor, pre-med major, in to serve. Hamill with a back set to Crawford, and she is blocked. Markley denying. Huge block by Markley. ISO block, something Katie schumacher Colley says she has the green light to go for. Look at the hands. Oh. And look at her head going back down in her chest, literally doing a crunch in the air. Markley, all Big Ten freshman team this year, gradually worked her way into the lineup. Oh, that is too good from Smrek. Had a little exclamation point on that. A little extra intensity. Smurek's just so hard to slow down, and Kelly Sheffield said that she's going to go for those cross-court shots because Penn State likes to keep their, keep their wing diggers in shallow. It's the fifth lead change here in this set. Crawford trying to sneak that down the line. Misses it wide, rotates out. Crawford, so funny because it, she doesn't give away a lot when she's on the floor emotionally, but she's got a fantastic sense of humor. But when you watch her on the court, she's all business. Nice serve received from Guchigan. Franklin rolls it over out of the back row. Williams blocked. Tipped over. A little small ball right now. And Williams tools the block point, Penn State. A lot of tips and touches in that rally. And Williams going with that tool, trying to use Wisconsin's hands against them, something that's not easy to do, facing one of the best blocking teams in the country. But Williams is a very confident and special outside. Grimes serving. Hamill. Smrek put it over, good D by Penn State, but they couldn't get it over in three hits. So four hits called against Penn State. Point to Wisconsin, and uh, give Smrek credit for that point. Villanovic, uh, the, the back row leader, wearing that 
Libro jersey for Penn State. So much fun to watch out there. Now Ashburn, one of the setters serving, a tri-captain on this Penn State team. Looking to become a coach one day. Nice serve! Target practice. That's her first ace. Grimes really being tested on that seam. And that's what you communicate before the serve happens. Make sure you tell each other if you have the seam or not. Again, with the same target. And that block goes out. <laughs> That was almost a relief look from Allie Holland. <laughs> she was the player that hit into that block and just threw her hands up in celebration when she saw that it went out. Holland, the first team all Big Ten performer this year, and also on the all region team. Those all region teams came out just before the regionals. Orzol hits into the block. We're tied at 12. A lot of ties in this set. Robinson. LSI goes back over to Williams. Williams had plenty of time, but hit it out. No touch. Point, Wisconsin. Big swing by Williams. It looked like she was trying to avoid Wisconsin's hands, but even if she had snapped her wrist more and made that ball go in, she still would not have hit that block. It was a great shot selection. It's so hard to do, isn't it, Shelby? There have been so few clean kills in this match so far. Always hands up. That goes out, and the hitting errors continue to be a problem for Penn State. And right now, Penn State's trying to avoid the Wisconsin block. A lot of the times when teams are being blocked a lot, Hitters will slow the game down by tip into the block. Let their defense get that coverage and reset. Wisconsin up by two. They won the first set. Joust at the net, still alive. Williams, and Williams is blocked. It was Hart getting most of that one, and Hart now with six blocks. Danielle Hart, dominant at the net. So Wisconsin starting to build some momentum. They've opened up a three-point lead here in the second. Well, everybody in a festive mood here in Madison tonight as the Badgers are up a set and leading 15 to 12. And in fact, uh, even the governor is here at the match, Tony Evers, and the first lady here watching this match. And uh, Shelby, it's only the second time I've been to an NCAA match where the governor has been at the match. The other time was at Nebraska a few years ago. The Nebraska governor was there along with Tom Osborne. So Nebraska and Wisconsin, they, they take their volleyball quite seriously when you can get the governor out on a winter night here in Madison. The Badgers volleyball team is definitely royalty around here. <laughs> and right now, Penn State trying to close the gap. Elisaya back to serve. Second team all Big Ten setter. Sends that serve out. Super close set, but right now the errors are really hurting both sides. Wisconsin hitting negative, as well as Penn State. So super different than that first set, but something that can change very fast. Guchikin back to serve. Oh, nice serves. Good receive by Bilinovic. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect by Katie Clark. And I like the encouragement Dilovanovic is giving Clark. That celebration goes a long way. Clark literally chasing the ball and getting right over those hands, not even going for that cross-court shot. Stark now back to serve. Stark a geobiology major. Franklin sends it over. Elisaya with options, goes behind her to Weatherington. And there was a net violation against Penn State. So Wisconsin will get that point. That's a bad break for the Nittany Lions. Well, Wisconsin's bench is cracking. They're awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm here for the energy they're bringing because that is something that feeds onto the court. It's just an incredible environment to be part of. Hamill to serve. Targets Mark Lee. Good block by the Badgers. Weatherington on the right side, blocked. 
as Franklin and Crawford were there. Franklin and Crawford just getting the whole gym into this block. And look at the press, all four hands together. No coverage able to get that ball because how deep it was blocked. Well, that block stat still way in Wisconsin's favor. Good serve by Hamill. Markley had time. She's blocked. Crawford. Crawford and Smreck shoulder to shoulder. Timeout Penn State. Wisconsin and Penn State trying to get to play Pitt here on this court Saturday night. Wisconsin, uh, Shelby, starting to feel like they're grabbing hold of the back end of this set. It's a block party in here, Sam, just back to back. And there's nothing more suffocating than a block. But then another one, that's just when your teammates look at each other and say, what now? What next? Hamill will be back to serve. She's had a very good serving set. Villanova stepped in front to take that receive. Weatherington goes cross court. That was an incredible dig by Hamill to keep the rally alive. Smreck. That is just tipped over by Stark. And Franklin tried to go wide but missed it. Point Penn State. And for Penn State, this set is very doable to come back to Wisconsin. Badgers having amazing blocks right now. But if you're Penn State, you are in this set. Hold on to that ball as long as you can if you're the Nitty Lions. Wisconsin had one hitting error in the first set. They've had six here in the second. Franklin rolls it over into the block, however. Goes with more power. Still blocked. And a net violation on Penn State. Wisconsin will be awarded the point. Franklin now going back to serve. Franklin last year uh, played at Penn, or excuse me, Michigan State, and uh, USA Volleyball wanted her to come to one of their open tryouts in February. And uh, when they contacted her, they contacted Kathy George, the now retired coach at Michigan State, and uh, she passed that information over to Sarah. Sarah said, hey, I'm transferring. I'm not sure where I'm going. And normally that's something a school will pay for, but it ended up Sarah paid her own way to go to that USA training tryout and ended up making the top court getting to work with Karch Karai and Aaron Virtue and the rest of the staff and it really said to them Aaron told me just how hungry she was to improve and how committed she was to USA Volleyball and to Wisconsin that she'd pay her way to be part of that out in Colorado. I'd say Franklin would say the plane and hotel was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what an experience to be on the court with Karch and company. And there's Franklin out of the back row, nailing it, Point Wisconsin. Franklin's a threat from the back row because of how aggressive she is, but mainly that reach, even though she's behind the 10-foot line, when she's coming down, it's as if she's a front row player. That's how high she gets. Crawford rotating out and being brought in to serve now is Boyer. Boyer, a senior. Dad played basketball at Notre Dame. Elisaya off the slide. That was Holland. Point Penn State. And Hart reaching in front of the left back. That's where the downside of having a big full gym comes in. That communication, you can't really hear each other. It's hard to hear when you're calling one another off. Holland now with four kills in this match. And back to serve is Jillian Grimes. Grimes targeting Guchigan. Rolled over by Franklin. Bilinovic with the dig. One arm save by Hamill. Rally still going. Williams, this is tight to the net. Still alive. It's got to go over. Orzol pushes it down the line. What a dig by Grimes. Point Wisconsin as Williams fails to get it over the net.
Williams with the air, but that's that signature Penn State defense. Extremely scrappy, getting hands on the ball and somehow making that ball stay in play. Great defense from both teams right now. It's tough to put the ball down. In fact, Penn State has 23 kills in this match. Wisconsin only has 18, but yet it's Wisconsin on the verge of a 2-0 lead. Elisaya into the block. Williams going to try again. Point, Wisconsin. That was the 27th swing by Williams. Katie Schumacher Colley said some of the biggest wins her team has had this season was when Williams had an, a great match. And right now what she can't do is get frustrated. She is such a strong player. She's just being tested by the reigning national champs. Izzy Ashburn back to serve. Wisconsin two points from a 2-0 lead in this best of five set match. The winner meets Pitt on Saturday night for a chance to go to the national semis. Ashburn pursuing. Orzol attacks. Nice block by Holland. Williams. And Williams got the touch. Point Penn State. Williams going for that all-out swing, getting the touch which she not only needs for the team, but she needs for her confidence to remember who she is. Do you think her swing's a little like Vasquez Gomez of Pitt? They Ooh. have that kind of roundhouse swing? I, I do think so. They have yeah. that really unique wind-up. Love it. Good comparison, Sam. Ashburn setting hard in the middle, and she delivers. That's only the first kill for Hart, but she has been dominant defensively. Danielle Hart just showing that she can do it all at the front because of how strong she is. And great connection with her setter, Ashburn, right here. Those two have really put in a lot of work to make that chemistry happen. Set point, Wisconsin. Penn State survives one. But Wisconsin with a lot of cushion here to try to take this 2-0 lead. It'll be set point number two for Wisconsin, but Penn State will be serving. The reaction in the crowd tell the story. Wisconsin going off the court up 2-0 at home. So here we go, third set. Grimes ready to serve for Penn State. They're on the right, Wisconsin's on the left. Off the slide, Robinson blocked by Williams. There's that showdown that Kelly Sheffield was telling. He even likes watching the dynamic when Robinson and Williams are across from each other. Good start for the Nittany Lions. Their season hangs in the balance. Williams sent that wide. Wisconsin trying to continue their season. If Penn State doesn't win this set, the Nittany Lions season is over. Penn State, the only team in the country that's never failed to make an NCAA tournament. They've never been left out. Holland. Franklin rolls it over. Elisaya attacks. Orzol was ready for it. And then Hart thumps it. Orzel with a one-arm dig, making it look like Wisconsin is still so in system because of how accurate the chemistry is between the middles and setters. Super in system right now for the Badgers. Orzol rotates back to serve. Good serve received there by Kirshen. And that hit hands, point Penn State. And that kills what Cash Williams has been doing all season. She's really good at finding the hands of her opponents, either going line or going for that tool shot. Cash earned her bachelor's degree at Long Beach State, now studying criminology at Penn State. The academic achievements on both these sides of the net, just outstanding. Ace. And a lot of celebrating after that ace. Why not? Allie Holland just ripped it. 
Penn State needs that celebration. They need all the momentum on their side right now. It's the one category Penn State's leading in the match. They've out-aced Wisconsin 4-1. Guchkin with the serve receive. Ashburn pursues. Here's Franklin. And Franklin in a perfect spot. Delivers the kill. Franklin with her eighth kill of the match. Not to mention her five blocks. Just so in sync right now. Her swing, the snap in her wrist, everything's looking great. Guchkin back to serve. From Istanbul, Turkey. Error giving Penn State the point. Now, Elisaya, her dad, is a strength and conditioning coach at Utah. And so uh, she made the Utah sign yesterday. We asked her who she's pulling for in the Rose Bowl. She's pulling for dad. Utah and Penn State playing in the Rose Bowl. There's Robinson tooling the block for the kill. Again, Robinson going with the hands of the Nittany Lions, making great decisions, going for different shots, getting her bench really excited. I'm here for it. Hamill getting ready to serve. This building goes from so loud to so quiet. Williams. Oh, that is terminal. Boom. Cash Williams getting comfortable in the Wisconsin gym, and she should be. She is an all-star because of how hard she hits, how hard she plays, and how smart she is going through that split in the block. Penn State must win this set to keep their season alive. They're up by one, not for long. We're tied. Franklin with her ninth kill. Villanova doing nothing wrong with that effort. The read was there, her platform was there, but that hit was just going down so hard from Franklin. Franklin getting ready to serve. 16 aces this season. Weatherington, as the player coach Sheffield mentioned, hit for such a high percentage on that side in the last set. Tipped over by Crawford, and Crawford comes away with a kill. Her first kill of the match. Crawford with a kill, but good touch by Weatherington. I like the effort staying in the play, trying to get that ball up. Wisconsin retakes the lead here early in the third. Wisconsin going for the sweep. They haven't dropped a set in the tournament. And that serve just goes long. We're tied now at six. And if you're Penn State, it's so detrimental that you find some sort of run even three points, that would go so far for your team when you're this far down in the match. And this is such a momentum-driven sport, Shelby. Mm, yes. Milanovic with a good serve. Orzol rolled it down the line, but sent it out. Point Penn State, and Penn State retakes the lead. Orzol's hits are such hybrid hits. They're hard shots, but it has some roll spin on it. Villanovic with the students behind her. Hamill back row set to Franklin. Net moving, but no violation. Weatherington tools the block, point Penn State. That's a good swing by Weatherington. Weatherington beat out Orzel and Smek, who are right next to each other. Forehands touching, shoulders touching, but Weatherington didn't care. She was going for it, and that's what her head coach said she had the green light to do. Love that serve from Villanova, really cut it. And Smrek delivers from the right pin. Smrek just making that kill look effortless. Penn State just doing their best to get a hand on it, but there's no way when you have a player that reaches that high and hits that hard, it's impossible sometimes. Smrek, six kills, only one error tonight. And uh, I think there was a serving violation from Crawford. She made contact after she crossed the service line. So the point given to Penn State. It's like a footfall in tennis. So back to serve now for Penn State, Cassie Kirschen. Hamill setting Smrek. 
Markley sends it wide. Point, Wisconsin. Markley just not having enough snap in her wrist to get that ball over and in. She's trying to avoid Wisconsin, but better to hit into the block and give your coverage a chance to get the ball up than hit the ball out. Ashburn back to serve now. She's had a good service run this match. I had an ace earlier. LSI has to chase that down to set it. Robinson goes down the line. Point Wisconsin. <laughs> Again, that was one of those delayed calls. Everybody was holding their breath to see if the officials thought it was in. In fact, Penn State jumped up their coaching staff, contemplated a challenge, but now I think they're satisfied with the call. Everyone holding their breath but Robinson, who was not turning around till yeah. that ball was called. She knew it was a kill. <laughs> Robinson now with six kills on 13 swings. How about that? That was just perfectly placed. An incredible swing. Ends up a point for Penn State. And now Grimes comes back to serve. Franklin sends it over. Elisaya to Williams. Dug up by Guchigan. Back row attack from Franklin. You could argue that Franklin is more lethal in the back row because she has so much more room to land from that approach. Bottom of your screen, number 13. Look where she lands, how far she is in front of that 10-foot line, all the momentum going forward. It's 10 kills now for Franklin. She's the first player in double digits in the match. Point Wisconsin off the hitting error from Holland. Sent that attack long. She was going high hands, but nobody touched. Orzol back to serve. Very effective behind the service line this year and just her second year in the U.S. Franklin. Oh, that was saved by Grimes. That was going to go out. Ashburn back to Robinson, but it goes out of bounds off the net, point Penn State. And when you're a player having success like Robinson is with your shot, you have that go ahead, that green light to take different risks, to be more aggressive and experiment with different open spots. This is a must win set for Penn State to keep their season alive. We've had nine ties, five lead changes here in the third. Hart tried to catch up with that. Williams, Gooch again with the one-hand stab. Franklin with a block, and finally Alisaia doesn't give up and wins the rally for the Nittany Lions. Love the effort in that rally. Alisaia staying in the play, Daniel Hart just too far off the net, but Alisaia was ready for that ball. She was waiting for the battle at the net. And great plays, great effort on both ends. Amazing digs right now. <laughs> Service error. And we're tied again. And Guchkin had never been to the United States before she decided to come here and go to Wisconsin, one of the top Libros in Europe, her age. She's made an immediate impact this season. Works on her English watching American television. Robinson rolls it over. Here's Williams, blocked. She'll try again. Franklin. Grimes sends it back. And Williams with a spectacular swing. Williams putting the ball down after a rally of high ball on both sides of the net. These hitters hit so hard that the digs go so high in the air. And Williams taking a little bit off finally and going for that right back corner. Perfect spot. Williams now in the double figure kill club in this match. Back set, blocked. 
Cash Williams is lifting her team right now as their season hangs in the balance. Cash Williams is bringing that attitude. We saw for a glimpse in that first set. She is so lethal when she's on. That timing, the hands, everything looks good from Williams right now. Elisai is serving it to Franklin. Now Franklin will get it back, rolls it over. Weatherington perfectly placed. So Penn State is trying to fight back. They have to win this set to keep their season alive. And they're up three here in the third. And now they will start trying to intimidate their opponent. <laughs> what an atmosphere. Robinson attacks, and Wisconsin scores right out of the timeout. It has to feel good to be Robinson getting the first kill after that serenade. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun to be here during the timeouts. Hamill back in to serve now. Hamill, one of the setters, along with Ashburn, 12 assists in this match so far. We're in the third set. Wisconsin wins it there in the regional final against Pitt. If Penn State wins this set, we play another. Franklin. Nice dig by Bilinovic. Guchtikin. Rolled over by Franklin. Middle of the court, testing all the Nittany Lions was the best decision Franklin could have made. Watch her drop her elbow, make that ball barely roll to the middle of the court. All three back row players just running into each other. Franklin leads the match right now with 11 kills. Only three errors on 33 swings. Hamill targets Bilinovic. Williams hits into a double block. Smrek making this whole gym blow up right now. She is so lethal on the right side, getting all the momentum for not only her team, but her fan base. The block's 14 to four in favor of Wisconsin. It's been one of the big difference makers in this match. We're tied at 15, going to 25, win by two. Franklin gets into the Penn State block. Crawford pushes it. Nice save by Grimes. And a kill out of the middle by Katie Clark. Katie Clark not trying to avoid the Wisconsin block, but use it in her favor. Get that tiny touch, making it so hard for the Badgers' second line defense to get that ball up. Williams back to serve. Hamill setting Smack in the middle, and she gets it to go down. Tops and serve we haven't really seen from Williams yet so far. Trying to get the Badgers out of system, but just not working out for Penn State. Uh, the crowd reaction after these points is just fantastic in this building. Back into serve is Boyer. Weatherington was calling for it. She got it. Went cross court, but it's a little bit out. Point, Wisconsin. Weatherington hitting it out, but wow. She is so powerful. She hits that ball so hard. Just a tiny adjustment. I don't see how anybody can get that ball up. Another good serve from Boyer. Markley on the left side attack. Smrek again. They're on their feet. Smrek, her eighth kill of the match, hitting 600, forcing Penn State to take a timeout, just suffocating the Nittany Lions with her offense. Wisconsin has won the last three points. 
to build this two-point lead. They win this set. They're playing on Saturday night in front of this passionate fan base. For Katie Schumacher Cauley, they have to win this set to keep Kentucky and San Diego off of ESPNU. <laughs> Needed to win and to get their season to keep going. Weatherington blocked. Wisconsin's block just suffocating Penn State right now. Nittany Lions just trying to get around the hands, but the Badgers just all over that front line defense. Elisaya with the set to Markley, and Markley gets the kill from the left pin, and they're fired up on the Nittany Lions side. Markley's so jumpy in her approach. Head coach said that she's really improved so much since the beginning of season. A big part of that is her shot selection and knowing when to go off the hands or go with the hands. Hamill with the set back to Crawford. She's blocked by Markley. And suddenly it's Markley making the difference for Penn State. Markley following that huge kill with this great block, an ISO block, making sure her hands are back into the court. And Katie Schumacher Colley said that's what her team does, is they can go one on one. Bilinovic serving again. Penn State within one. Was it touched? No touch called by the official. And I think Kelly Sheffield's going to challenge it. Smrek immediately was saying she thought it was touched. And so coach is going to honor that with a challenge. So they'll be challenging the touch. The official called it no touch and awarded the point to Penn State. I love the trust that Kelly Sheffield has with his players. Just seeing Smrek turn around to him immediately to the bench and say, touch, touch. He listened and got that card out. So uh, watch this. There's Smrek going up over Holland. And then number 19 is Markley. Up Judge did not see a touch. I think it's uh, clear Holland didn't get it, but did Markley number 19 in blue. It didn't look like Markley's hand moved too much. It didn't look like the ball had a different spin. To me, my guess, which doesn't matter, my guess is no touch. Sam, are you taking a guess or are you leave me hanging? I'm going to leave you hanging. All right, all right, I'm used to it. <laughs> That's fine. I, I've given up my predicting the challenges. I'll give up soon. I was wrong last time. I'm not qualified. <laughs> all right, so they are, again, challenging whether there was a touch here. It was called no touch. And I, I don't see it from what we've been able to see. Huh. And it has to be a, a clear to the official that there was a touch. Video yeah. Video evidence is needed to overturn. I'm not. And again, these refs have different views than what we see, what everyone at home see. So maybe they see something different that we don't. And for both Penn State and Wisconsin, use this challenge as a timeout. Reset, talk about what's been going right for you and how to keep doing that. Penn State's hanging with Wisconsin right now, the closest they've been this entire match. This set can be anybody's right now. And we have, while we have a break, I want to remind you that uh, Kentucky and San Diego will be joining the ESPNU audience at the conclusion of this match. Right now they're over on ESPN News. And we started on ESPN News today as well, and then we came over to ESPNU after Louisville defeated Baylor. But uh, what a blessing it's been to have volleyball on wall to wall since this morning. And it will go for several more hours. And then on Saturday, all four regional finals will be on ESPNU. Still waiting on this challenge. This has been. Uh, one of the longer ones of the evening. And again, there was no touch called. Smrek said she felt like it was touched. So Kelly Sheffield 
issued the challenge. I wonder if Smek thinks it's Holland who touched, not the second blocker, but the first one right in front of her. I wish I could get in Smek's head and know what she was seeing. Dang it. Wisconsin bench. They're doing gymnastics. They're rowing over there. They're bringing all the energy during this challenge. Okay, there was a touch. So after a lengthy deliberation, Kelly Sheffield is proven right. So is Anna Smreck. And it's a, a momentum buster for Penn State because instead of the score being tied, now it's Wisconsin up two. Bram Schreiber in to serve. Wisconsin five points from the regional final. Alessia. Bram Schreiber with the set to Orzol. Weatherington tried to go down the line and just missed it. Point Wisconsin. Weatherington trying to avoid the blocker's hands in front of her, but in this moment in time, you got to make sure that ball's efficient. Make sure it's over and then keep it in play. Oh, that was a nice set by Alessia just to keep that ball out of the net. Net violation on Wisconsin point, Penn State. Penn State utilizing that back row attack, showing they trust all their hitters from any rotation. Kirshen back to serve. Again, the season hanging in the balance for Penn State. They must win this set to keep their season alive. Hart off the slide, missed it. And Penn State has pulled within one. What do you think of that, Shelby? I'm not surprised. I, I'm, I'm surprised Penn State didn't do it earlier, but this is a very talented team. The Nittany Lions are having incredible ups so far as well. Gustikin with a very good serve receive. Markley tools the block, and Penn State has tied the score at 21. 13th tie of this set. Timeout, Wisconsin. Shelby, it is such a game of momentum, and right now you feel like Penn State's managed to grab a little bit of it back. Don't you agree? Uh, completely, and its momentum right now is going to who has the block as well. There is nothing more crushing than when you get a huge stuff, especially in this match right now. For Wisconsin, usually on that blocking side. However, for Penn State, they're the team right now that's getting those incredible touches, those huge ups that even making the Wisconsin crowd go off. It's a, a passionate Penn State huddle right now as uh, this group tries to figure out a way to just get four more points before Wisconsin does again. This set goes to 25, win by two. Wisconsin wins it. They're moving on to the regional final, which is the last eight in the NCAA Women's Volleyball Championship. But if Penn State can find a way to win this set, they're still in the match. We play a fourth. Wisconsin staying in their huddle for a long time right now. Kelly Sheffield has been very animated in that timeout. So he tries to get his team on the same page to close this out. Coach Sheffield talked a lot about how different this team is than other years and how close this team is and losing huge players, Kelly, Recky, Barnes, and how this team has really come together and built brand new chemistry, which you can see in play right now. Kirshen puts it in play. Hamill with a set to Hart, and she delivers out of the middle. Danielle Hart being so aggressive at the front, 
for getting that air, doesn't matter. She's going to come back with a nice approach and a huge arm swing. Elisaya puts it up on the left side to Markley, and Markley scores for Penn State. We're tied at 22. Markley's fifth kill of the match. Being so efficient right now from blocking, hitting, and that approach going off the hands right over Robinson, testing that backline defense from the Badgers as well. They let it go. It's an ace. Grimes delivers the crucial ace for Penn State. Orzol keeps it alive. Franklin rolls it over. Williams goes cross court. Robinson. Hammered out of the middle by Holland. And for the first time today, Penn State has set point. Remember, Wisconsin has not dropped a set in the tournament. And the Nittany Lions have just not given up. Such an in-system play for Penn State. With that great pass, able to let their middle Holland come in for that one. And not afraid of the Wisconsin block, even though it's ISO one-on-one. -on -one, Hart not able to get in base and get that press over the net. Shelby, Penn State was down 21-18. to They've won six of the last seven points in uh, one of the most tough places to play in America. What an effort by Penn State. Now let's see how Wisconsin responds here as the defending national champs haven't dropped a set in the tournament and they're going to face at least two set points. I'm not surprised Penn State turned it around. You said this is one of the hardest places in the nation to play. Penn State playing the former national champions. It's going to take some time to warm up. Do you think they wish they warmed up earlier? Probably. But Penn State's not going anywhere right now. They're here to show you that they have some national champions of their own. Not how you start, but how you finish. And Penn State's put themselves in position to finish this set, keep their season alive and this match alive. And for Penn State, it's going to be all about, can you be air free? Can you make sure that ball stays in play? Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Be aggressive, but efficient at the same time. Grimes back to serve, set point Penn State. Ashford settles under it, Orzol. Robinson sides out for the Badgers. One set point saved, one more to face. Robinson with the kill on the right side, but it wasn't a high set. It was super low, forcing her to speed up that approach, not giving Penn State any room to get loaded in defense. Again, set point Penn State. Williams blocked. She'll try again. And Williams! Wins the set for Penn State. The Nittany Lions refuse to lose. And they battle back from being down 21-18 in the third to force a fourth set. Penn State is still alive. We'll play the fourth set when we return to Madison on the other side of this break. Okay, Shelby, heading into this fourth set, Penn State's got some momentum. You think they can keep it going? I do. You can't tell me that Penn State was going to come in here and get swept in the NCAA tournament. There's no way. Penn State took a little while to wake up, but I was expecting it to happen. It was just a matter of time. So it'll be Ashburn serving to start the fourth set. It's the first set in the tournament that Wisconsin has dropped. Fans still reacting to the Jumbotron. Ashman with a good set or good serve to start the set. 
Gustikin puts it up. Robinson blocked. Williams and Holland combined. Williams and Holland doing such a good job making sure they're in sync together on that block, especially against Robinson, who has been so lethal on the right side tonight. Penn State, that's so important to win that first point after you've built that momentum winning that third set. Long way to go to win this set, but that's a good start, and it just carries over the momentum. Katie Clark off the slide. Clark so efficient running behind her setter because of that footwork. That's something that her and Elysia have put a lot of time into the gym, making sure that chemistry is down. Much different mood on that Penn State side of the net right now. Ashburn, low set to Hart. Nice up by Kirschen. And that was a busted play for Wisconsin. Point Penn State. Badgers. Trying to get the momentum back. His fans begging them. A 3-0 start for Penn State here in the fourth. Williams hits into the block. That'll get him fired up. Hart getting all the momentum for her team after that huge stop against Penn State's middle, making sure she's lined up with Robinson to create that wall. Hart now with eight blocks in this match. Williams tried to go high hands, didn't get the touch, point Wisconsin. It's the 49th swing of the match for Williams, Shelby. She's taken a lot of the load offensively. The next highest is 23. He's a, Williams is just a pitcher at this point. Just wonder what her limit is. Franklin gets into the block. Just so hard to get a clean kill in this match. Point in case. And there is another block. Oh, wait. The point is being given to Penn State. Looked like there may have been a net violation on Wisconsin. Kelly Sheffield is uh, coming over to talk to the official. Let's see uh, if we can figure it out. Was Franklin in the net here? It looks like Franklin's finger might have hit on her the right hand when she was coming down from the block. No challenge. Wisconsin will live with it. Point Penn State. Good serve. Incredible serve, it's that lefty serve. That ball just dropped, Shelby. Third ace for Alessia. Ashford, how about that set? That was quick, Hart with the finish. Hart a little out of system, but she's so athletic that she can make it work. Even when it's not the best set approach combo, she still makes that ball drop in that left back. Hart's gradually making her presence felt more on the attack up to four kills now with those eight blocks. Another free point for Penn State. Penn State up six to three, another must win set for the Nittany Lions to keep their season going. Pitt has already beaten Florida on this court tonight in four sets. So Pitt awaiting the winner of this, but they have a day off tomorrow. We'll resume play on Saturday. Ashburn dumps it. Worked. How about that fake? You got to love that. Izzy Ashburn just eyes locked into her outside. So deceptive. Look where she's looking how her head is facing her left front, and then she makes that dump perfectly, just taking Penn State totally off their feet. First kill for Ashburn, 17 assists, five digs and an ace. 
Wisconsin within two here early in the fourth set, leading this match two sets to one. Elisaya, oh, Smrek says, not in here. Get that out of here. Clark was denied. Smrek at the front, you have to know when she's in front of you, you oh. have to adjust your shot, just make the defense work behind her. Wisconsin still out blocking Penn State 17 to six. Wisconsin trying to tie. Weatherington is denied again as the block party has resumed. Franklin and Crawford on that front line denying Weatherington. We're tied at six. Wisconsin, Shelby, has five players with five or more blocks. 17 blocks total. Just insane. That was touched by Wisconsin. So the kill goes to Katie Clark of Penn State. And Katie Clark hitting almost 250, being a very clutch player this match, someone who's being really effective with her shot selection. Bilinovic had so many good service runs in this match. Unfazed by the crowd. Franklin. Here's Markley. And Markley hits it long, Point Wisconsin. Remember, hitting errors were a big story early in the match for Penn State. They cleaned it up for a while, but already have four here to start set number four. Overpass. Penn State was in the net. Point, Wisconsin. Penn State being aggressive, but you have to be careful to make sure you're not going over the net, trying to fight for that ball against Wisconsin. Oh, that was crushed in the middle by Allie Holland. Holland now with six kills. Textbook play for Holland. Everything was in system for Penn State from the pass, allowing Holland to be ran through the middle of that fast tempo offense. Kirschen serving Guchkin. Ace. Put it right to where Guchkin could not make a play on it. That was a bullet. Came in hard and flat. Good serving match from Penn State. And Smrek terminates from the right pin with that cut shot. Smrek is that player that Penn State is praying does not get set because of how lethal she is. Four hands up against her, avoiding the back row and really testing the fact that Penn State pulls her wings into the middle, making them suffer on that line shot. Big numbers for Anna Smrek. Consistent member of the Canadian junior national team. We may see her wearing a Canadian uniform in the Olympics one day. Graham Schreiber with the serve. And Markley is denied again, but they keep it alive. For a second, Wisconsin thought they had won the rally. Back row Franklin. Still going. Smrek denied for a moment. And Hart finally finishes. Hart and her arm swing. It's like watching her. You're just fast forwarding time. She moves so fast. Her arm's a machine. How she lifts, how she releases, everything looking good. Seen any of, your, any of her art yet, Shelby? Danielle Hart? I need to see. Yeah, it's beautiful. Ocean epoxy resin art. Oh. Has her own art business. Many talents from Hart. Yeah, it is really worth looking at on Instagram. She has her shop on there, and uh, she fell in love with that style of art when she went on vacation to Kauai when she was a youngster. And during uh, her off time when she tore her ACL, she created her own art business. I mean, she's got pieces that are just absolutely amazing. Has a whole uh, Christmas collection with candles. Cool. 
Another good serve by Penn State. Specifically, that's Grimes. Well, that has been such a difference maker for the Nittany Lions, how effective they've been serving. Three aces already here in this fourth set. Franklin stepped in to receive that. Williams got her hand on it. Gooch to come with the set. Orzol on the attack. It was touched by Penn State. Point, Wisconsin. Orzol with a touch. Head coach Kelly Sheffield said that her swing looks like it's a machine. And she's so springy. She has hops. I love her style, her form. Yeah, Orzol's a, such a success story. A 4-0 GPA. Only here in the United States for a second year from Poland. LSI the back set to Hollins, kept alive by Franklin. That went up toward the scoreboard. Robinson is blocked. Holland denying Robinson. Williams and Holland making sure they are lined up against Robinson and putting four strong hands up against her, not leaving any room for Robinson to try and find a seam. Penn State retakes the lead. Another must-win set for the Nittany Lions. Overpass. Beautifully dealt with by Katie Clark. Penn State has all the momentum right now. This is the most they've led this early in the match so far. Really testing Wisconsin in the serve and pass game. Orzold blocked right in bounds. Katie Clark again. Number 11 in blue. Katie Clark with the huge block. Look how deep this block goes from Orzold. That's because of how hard she hits, making it impossible for that coverage to get a touch on it. Katie Clark transfer from PCU, making her impact felt here for Penn State. They're up three in the fourth. Kelly Sheffield looking calm as usual as he tries to guide his team through this fourth set and hope they come out a winner to face Pitt on Saturday night. But Penn State is producing a remarkable comeback. They dropped the first two sets, won the third. A little tip over. It was Wisconsin. They took a timeout and they hardly took any break at all as it's the setter there coming up, Ashburn. With a nice set to Daniel Hart. And Wisconsin scores right out of the timeout, which is what you want. Williams. Perfect. That wind up from Williams makes her so lethal on the left. How fast she makes her arm move, the approach, everything. And that snap in her wrist, that's what she's been looking for. When she has those errors, she's trying to make that ball drop like she just did. Great line shot. Penn State up by three. We're going to 25, win by two in this fourth set. Penn State trying to keep their season alive by winning it. There's another good serve delivered by Alisaia. Alisaia just testing Wisconsin from the service line, coming out their chest, making that float go as deep as possible without letting them go out. Shelby, th this Penn State team, their, their serving has been such a difference maker. Nine aces in this match. It's another good one. That is tipped down the line, successfully point Wisconsin. Creative shot by Franklin. Franklin back in the front row. That's something Penn State's going to try and get out of rotation as soon as possible. Another big swing by Clark. Clark's really made her presence felt here in this third and fourth set. The Big Ten sportsmanship honoree from Penn State. 
just working her way into the lineup in late October. And it's Penn State up four now. Fans trying to do their part. Jay Demps into the match now for the first time. Demps on the left pin for Wisconsin, number 15 in white. There she is. Demps, a junior from Raleigh, North Carolina. Outstanding student. Hopes to become a veterinarian, biology major, but a real crowd favorite here at Wisconsin. Well, oh, that's just too much. And Wisconsin pulls within four. And this is where you see teams separate. Penn State almost at that 20-point mark. A huge miss in that serve from Williams. Could have kept that ball and try and go on a run. And Wisconsin, you've got to come back, try and go on a run of your own. Hamels had some nice runs behind the service line for the Badgers tonight. Targets Bilinovic with that one. Here's Weatherington, goes cross court, point Wisconsin. The Badgers within three. Weatherington struggling and hitting right now, hitting negative. But that's because she's a trying to avoid Wisconsin's hands. She's going for different shots, just not able to make that ball drop in. Nine total kills for Weatherington. Williams and Clark have double digits for the Nittany Lions. Another good serve. Hamill with the ace. Hamill, who Kelly Sheffield described as a baller, competitive, and a fighter. And you can see how from that serve, testing the chest of Penn State, going for that really deep ace. That was Hamill's first ace of the night, and it fires up the Badgers, who are two points behind Penn State right now, trying to avoid a fifth set. Penn State hoping to be here tomorrow, and they have to get through the defending national champions to do it. Penn State must win this set. That would send us into a fifth. But if Wisconsin can fight back here and close, the Badgers meet the Pitt Panthers Saturday night for the right to go to the national semis. Good serve again by Hamill. Weatherington just pushed it down the line. Demps. Elisaya with a set to Clark, it's blocked. Weatherington dug up by Orzel, what a dig. Demps, that's got to go over. Clark again. She's been so terminal in the third and fourth sets. Unfortunately, she has to rotate out. It's always funny when a player has just a huge play, a stuff, <laughs> a kill, and then, okay, sub one, it's time to go out. <laughs> Clark up to 11 kills now. Make it 12. Just turned over to 12. Good serve by Bilinovic. Nice play by Hamill to keep it alive. Weatherington. Gustikin with the dig. Was it touched? No. Point Penn State. That was just a little long on that attack by Smrek. Nice eyes by Penn State. Personally watching Smrek, I thought that ball was going in. Penn State was really sucked into the middle of the court with their read, but it worked out for them. Timeout, Wisconsin, as Penn State hits the 20-point mark here in the fourth. Again, Wisconsin hasn't lost two sets in a match since they played Penn State back on November 19th. They won the match in five, but this Penn State team has given Wisconsin some problems. Penn State trying to force a fifth in Madison. Hamill sends it back to the middle of the court, touched over by Orzol. Hamill to Demps, and Demps rolls it over, but it is Penn State's point. That ball went out. Demps trying to go with that cut shot, not able to make it go over and in. Penn State definitely taking that one and saying thank you. Penn State four points from a fifth.
Smrek out of the middle. The Nittany Lions keep it alive. Smrek scores for the Badgers. Smrek going with that really aggressive tip, literally pushing the ball on the hands of Penn State, making those hands go backwards and fall right in front of the net. Dimps back to serve now. Markley. Borzol. Well, that was tight to the net. Smrek thunders it to the floor, and Wisconsin is within three. Smrek with her 12th kill of the match. Last point, she went with the tip, this time back to that hard-hitting swing. Wisconsin trying to catch Penn State and close this out in four. How about that swing by Weatherington? And Penn State builds the lead back up to four. Katie schumacher Colley said, Zoe Weatherington is one of the hardest attackers in the conference. She said she is fierce. And you can see why Weatherington testing that Wisconsin block right in front of her. Weatherington's mom, the current head volleyball coach at uh, Charlotte. She's a good college player herself. Orzol with the off speed. Back row attack. Successful by Angelina Stark. I love the hug Stark's getting right now from <laughs> her teammates. That goes a long way, that momentum keeping it, being on the same page with each other. And this back row attack from Stark, avoiding that block right in front of her, testing that back row. Penn State is two points from a fifth set. Now they're at set point. As the fantastic serving continues, that ace delivered by Kirshen. Tenth ace of the match for the Nittany Lions. And we're on the, on the verge of a final set. We've been through a four setter earlier, Pitt beating Florida. Orzol. Markley into the block. And Wisconsin saves a set point. It remains set point Penn State. And what is happening right now is exactly what Katie schumacher Colley said is going to happen. She said, my team's going to come at Wisconsin with as aggressive serves as possible. The Nittany Lions having 10 service aces, Wisconsin has two. Bram Schreiber now into serve for Wisconsin. Still set point, Penn State. One more save by Wisconsin. Good heads up play by Orzol on the net. Still set point, Penn State. Back set, that'll do it. Allie Holland delivers the final blow. And in Madison, Wisconsin, Wisconsin's 20 match win streak is on the line. Penn State has come from two sets down and forced a final set. When we return to 15, or excuse me, when we return to Madison, it will be the 15 win by two to see who moves on to the last eight. I would say people are on the edge of their seats, but they're not even in their seats right now. Everybody's standing. Oh, there's no sitting in the fifth set. Not when it comes to regionals. So it will be Wisconsin serving first, Izzy Ashburn specifically, as we begin this journey of a fifth set to find out who goes to the regional final. Elisaya setting Williams, going right to the best threat they have offensively, and Williams delivers with the kill on the opening play. And there's a match matchup Kelly Sheffield's been getting his team ready for this entire week. Williams against Robinson up at the net. He said they'll both stuff each other, get kills. It's all about how can his team respond to her. Holland serving. 
Orzol, off hands. Good dig by Holland. Williams again. Push that long, point Wisconsin. Williams smiling after that error. Some body language she hadn't really shown those first two sets. She's looking a lot more confident, a lot more relaxed. Every point is magnified when you're only going to 15 win by two. Ace by Orzol. Her first of the match. Orzel with the deep float and not even going for a seam, going right for Grimes, picking on players. Another good serve, that's tight to the net. Alessia didn't have a play on it, point Wisconsin. Penn State just two points behind, but in the fifth set, and you don't have the momentum, that can feel like six points. Double contact. Right now it is Wisconsin with the early momentum. And these fans are a big part of that. They are a big part of this match. The, the players feed off this energy. And if you're Penn State, you can feed off of it too. That's momentum, that's adrenaline going for you. All right, I got a new bucket list item. I want to come here as a fan next mm. season. Just be part of this. Where we can actually yell all yeah. the time. What a, <laughs> what a fun environment. Penn State though, trying to pull off a huge upset. And we'll see how both teams respond out of that timeout. Orzol still serving. Williams dug up by Gutschikin. Devin Robinson. One of the better service runs of the season from Orzo, and it couldn't come at a better time for the Badgers. Mark off the slide. Robinson. Five unanswered points for the Badgers. Six to one. Williams trying to side out. Gutsikin saves it. And Clark finally puts it down for a much needed Nittany Lion point. Clark getting her team out of that desperate rotation that Wisconsin has just been owning them in with a beautiful approach going behind her setter. That slide that she's been so lethal on tonight. Swimming out of a tidal wave. When all the crowd and the opponent is against you, you've lost five in a row. That was an excellent side out. Devin Robinson denied by Williams. Williams could not be more pumped up, and she earned that. This ISO block, Williams versus Robinson, the match, the match up of the night. Amazing block. Look at those hands pointing back in the court. Sticking together as a team in this battle. Serve is out. Wisconsin up seven to three. Those are not booze. It's Gutstikin <laughs> back to serve now. She's embraced by this crowd. Williams kept alive by Orsol. Franklin. Blocked, but it goes out of bounds. Point Wisconsin. They'll change sides with Wisconsin up eight to three. As we go to 15 win by two to determine whose season stays alive.
It doesn't get better than this. Nothing good. Another good serve, Elisaya settles under it, sets Weatherington, one-on-one, -on -one, stuff blocked by Crawford. What a block by Crawford, getting her team season high in blocks with 21 on the night. Crawford being ferocious at that front line defense. A record-setting night for Wisconsin in terms of blocks, but it's not over. We've seen Penn State come back in each of the third and fourth sets, but the block has been the difference maker for Wisconsin tonight. It's unbelievable, 21. A full block party here in Madison tonight. Wisconsin does such a good job at making sure with a double block, they're lining up with each other, their hands, their shoulders, Pressing back into the court, doing an actual crunch in the air. And on the ISO block, doing a great job at picking out which lane, which shot to take away from the Nittany Lions. Wisconsin up 9-3 to three as we come out of the timeout. Penn State's already on the floor. Cash Williams trying to rally her team. They've come from behind so much tonight. Gustikin back to serve now. Again, a reminder, we're in the fifth set of this regional semifinal. We're going to 15 win by two to determine whose season continues. Williams attacks, tools the block, point Penn State. And Williams staying aggressive. Not trying for a tip, not trying for a roll. She's going for those hard swings, and she's going for the Badgers' hands while she's doing it. Cuts the Wisconsin lead to five. Ashburn sets Franklin. Markley denied. Weatherington, oh, nice up by Orzol. Got the touch, Devin Robinson with the kill. Robinson with the kill, but what a dig by Yulia Orzel and how she puts that ball back to target. Not just getting it up, but getting it right in the hands of Izzy Ashburn. Great placement. Hamill now serving for Wisconsin. Five points from victory. Markley attacks, blocked. A new career high for Caroline Crawford. That was her 11th block. And a new season high for Wisconsin with 22. Good dig by Hamill. Smrek rolls it over. Elisaya with a quick set. And again, Crawford denying with that D. Caroline Crawford, who Kelly Sheffield said, is so important, and you can see why. Blocks she is bringing tonight are relentless. Wisconsin three points away. Elisaya back set to Weatherington. That point is Penn State's. That block went out of bounds. So a good swing by Zoe Weatherington. That was brave. 
Weatherington's been great all night. She's going for those hands, those shots, and she's had some errors, but she doesn't give up. She keeps going for those hands against the Badgers. Villanova unfazed. Sprek. Sprek with the kill. 13 to 5. Bram Schreiber in to serve, going to change her serve position. A heads up play by Holland. Penn State desperately trying to chip away at the deficit they found themselves in. But having the ball is so good for them because they have been on a tear this past set when it comes to that service line. Kirshen with the serve, nice serve. Orzol. Elisaya sends it over, dug up by Bram Schreiber. Orzol went line, missed it wide. And Penn State starting to build a little momentum. But they're in a big deficit. Orzol blocked. She'll try again. Elisaya going to set Markley. Joust at the net, won by Holland of Penn State. And the Nittany Lions continue to shrink that gap. As long as Penn State can eliminate errors, good things will happen. Timeout, Wisconsin. Kelly Sheffield jumping up off the bench and taking a timeout as Penn State has a little momentum right now. Kirshen back to serve. Hamill with a set to Crawford. And Crawford gives Wisconsin match point. Crawford with a tip, something we haven't seen often from the Badgers tonight, but she knows Penn State's ready for that hard approach, and she threw them off. Match point, Wisconsin, for a trip to the regional final Saturday. And it only took one swing from Boyer to end that match. That is clutch. So the Wisconsin Badgers win their 21st straight match. And congratulations to Penn State as they stole our hearts in that comeback attempt here on Wisconsin's home court. So we have our regional final confirmed here in Madison. The seeds have held. And number one seed in this region, Wisconsin, will take on number two seed Pitt Saturday night at 8 Eastern on ESPNU. That was special, Shelby.